All right, this is our final pin here of the offering. Uh, really, really good way to end. 103 litters. Uh, 103 litters are sired by Judgmental, which would be the Stolquist bred boar, uh, one of our favorite boars from last spring. Get to see him grow up. Uh, partnered with Hartzell's there to get him bought and brought back to upper hand. And uh, uh, really, really excited about what he's doing. And he did exactly, exactly what we wanted to do. A mother would be a tricked out on a dominator. Um, and then uh, th she's actually a litter mate to the sow we call Jordan. That's the mother of autocorrect and copperhead. Um, and uh, I like Jordan so much that uh, our good buddy Kilmer sold us the uh, sister and the mom um, because I, I, was, I was really digging them. And this is the sister to Jordan. Um, and this is her first litter here. Um, and she did a great job. Uh, we've got these two blue gilts and a belted male in this particular sale. Uh, might be some more pigs coming up if they make the cut. Uh, in our next sale, but I've not found them yet. But uh, 103 litters, uh, 103 gilts right here, both light crosses, 103 fours, where we're going to start with a goggle eyed gilt here. Uh, she's one that uh, uh, just, she's always kind of stood out. She is a heavy duty, uh, rugged made kind of a gilt. It offers some extra shape and center dimension. Uh, she's going to have some of that extras in terms of uh, uh, bone work and hair. Uh, she's loose and uh, loose and flexible out of her hind leg and still one that I think uh, for a burly stout one, she got enough kind of a look. And I think one that's just going to be easy feeding. You just coast her along. Uh, she can be ready to go here in a few months in terms of jackpotting, uh, but still going to be a fun one. Uh, Light Cross Division is open here at Expo in Louisville, so those will be separated. And I think that's a fun event there. Obviously, the Midwest State Fair, some of those are as well. So uh, that guilt there, uh, if you like them good, uh, if you like them blue, if you like them crossbred, I think she needs to be on that list because she's a very, very high-quality guilt there in 103-4. A 103-5 is a gilt that's uh, she's a little more youthful in her look, uh, probably carries a little more tendencies of her dad in terms of uh, just hardness of shape, look, design, levelness, and squareness. Uh, if you're going to feed one for the long haul in terms of making August, I think that this gilt here could be the one. Uh, she is uh, very, very flexible. She's heavy structured. Uh, she's going to be one that's going to feed tremendously good on down the way because of her looseness, um, and she's still immature in her type and kind, and I think that's going to work to her advantage on down the way as a big ring kind of a gilt uh, uh, with a very, very predictable kind of a pedigree. like this pair of white gilts. I like this group of hogs extremely well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself, Austin, Ben, Lane, uh, any of the Three's Company lots. Feel, out, feel free to reach out to Brad as well. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Take care.